again. This is Stephanie Wiggin from the UNC Libraries. So because I cut our time a little short the other day, which I again apologize for, um, I'm so sorry about that. I feel really ridiculous about it. Anyway, I wanted to show you RefWorks because I think it's going to be an incredibly helpful tool when you're working on your research. So RefWorks can do a few things for you. First of all, it'll help you create that APA style bibliography. Now it will also do AMA, which is what nutrition and dietetics uses. So if you have somebody who wants AMA style, it will create those as well just fine with no effort on your part. So the next thing it can do is keep your PDFs. So if you're like me, I have a couple computers, I have multiple external hard drives, I have a lot of thumb drives, though I don't use those as much anymore. Anyway, on any given day, I may save them in a different place than the next day. So I tend to save my stuff to my desktop and then upload it into RefWorks and then delete it from my desktop. Because once I've uploaded it into RefWorks, I have access to it anywhere I have an internet connection. It will also help me organize stuff. It's got the folder system, but it's also a place I can take notes. So I can take notes right online and keep all of that directly with my citations and my articles. And lastly, you can share stuff. So if you're working on a group project or just working with a research partner, this is a way that you can have one folder, you can share the folder so you both have it within your account and then you have access to the same citations, PDFs and notes. All right. So today to start with RefWorks, I want to start out in PubMed just as a reminder because I forgot to put this on your information sheet, your username for PubMed is Claus, which is your mascot, and your password is library, all lowercase. All right, so let's go to PubMed. So, oops, let me back up here. So I did a search on pregnancy, vitamin D, and nutrition assessment. Now I went ahead and found three articles on my topic. I want to find one more. So I'm going to look at this article on diet history questionnaires for estimating vitamin D. If I like the abstract, I'm going to go ahead and find the full text, which is why I'm signed in. Anytime you get that 360 link, it's a good indication we have it full text online. So here's my PDF. And like I said before, I'm just simply going to save this to a folder. And let me find the right folder. I've got a ton of folders going on right now. I'm going to save it to my PubMed folder with author last name and year of publication. All right, so I've saved that so I can now upload it into RefWorks. So let's get into RefWorks and upload those four articles that I've found. So I'm going to start at the LibGuide for Nutrition and Dietetics which you've got on the URL on your the back side of your handout. Now we went over find journals by article tab topic, find articles by citation. So the next important tab on here is going to be citation help. So you've got two guides here for AMA style and APA style. We're going to go ahead and click on APA style. Now there's lots of useful information here for title pages and how to do running heads, the format that you need, some videos on how to format it. You've got how to do text citations if you need a reminder on how to do text citations with par parenthetical text citations, which is what APA uses. You've got examples of reference citations. You probably won't need that very much since you're going to be using RefWorks, but it's here if you need it, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. And then the RefWorks tab. So here's the RefWorks tab. There is an old version going on. It's not going to be around much longer. We want everybody to sign into the new. So the old's here. If you have an old account, you can transform it over to the new one. But since you guys don't have accounts, we're going to start with the new. We are going to create an account. It remembers me from being in here. You, the first time, are just going to click on create account. Put in your UNC email, the one with the unc.edu or bears.unco.edu, and it will check it for you. And once it sees that, it'll say, OK, you guys have an account or an institutional account, so you can have your own personal account. It'll ask you some questions, not much information, and then you can be signed in. 
So I've been using RefWorks, so I've got some various stuff in here. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder and say it's vitamin D, pregnancy, and nutrition. All right, so now I'm in that folder. So I'm going to upload my documents. So here are my folder from PubMed. Let's see if I can do them all at once. All right. So I'm going to open those, and so it brings them in, but notice how it pops up with this analyzing, and it's analyzing these. If they're recent enough PDFs and they have all the right metadata, then it's automatically going to load all the authors, the title of the article, title of the journal, volume issue number, so that you don't have to do any of that at all. That's another reason that it's really great to just upload the PDFs. For whatever reason, it does not look like it's analyzing that one, and I'm not sure why not. We'll leave that one alone for a minute while it thinks about it. So I'm going to go back to this one. I can read it right in the browser, All right? and so I can take notes right here. So if I want to take notes while I read and say, awesome article use this quote and then talk about the quote that I want to use. So I can take all those here. I can also check my reference. So with this open I can go through and make sure that the title is correct. Make sure it picked up all the authors, which it appears like it did. The journal, date of publication, volume number, issue number, pages it didn't do a great job on. So this starts on page 589, but where does it end? So I'm going to save that really quick just so I can see. 592, Oop, it's thinking. So it ends on 598. All right, so I need to add that here. So through 598, and then it's got the DOI in there, so everything else looks great. So I will just go through and check each one of those to make sure they're all good. All right, so let's say I've done all four of these now. I've checked them all, and now I'm ready to create my bibliography. So I'll select the ones I want. In this case, I'm going to select everything. Those little quote marks right here is how you create a bibliography and I'm going to create a bibliography. All right, so this is AMA style. Notice it opened me up into AMA style, and here are my citations. Now, if I want to change this to APA, I'm just going to choose APA. And that quickly, it'll change it over to APA. Now, it's doing things like putting references at the top and centering it. It's giving me my hanging indents. It's automatically alphabetizing. So Ling is before Asap is before Shurhashi is before Soltorovska. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, but there you go. So let's take a closer look at one of these. Um, let's actually take a look at this one. So when you have more than eight authors, you end up doing this ellipsis, so that looks right. Um, it's giving me last name, first initials, and middle initials when they're there. It's giving me the date, title of the article, title of the journal, and volume of the journal italicized, which is correct, issue number, page numbers, and the DOI. So this is looking really quite perfect. And then I'm going to read through the title really quickly, and I find one mistake. So this is probably the biggest mistake that RefWorks makes, is that it doesn't know what a proper noun is. So proper nouns always get um, capitalized. So Slovenian is a proper noun, so it should have a capital S. Uh, same thing with Japanese, that should be a capital J. African American, two capital A's there. So otherwise it's doing a great job. So I can simply copy this and paste it or copy here to the clipboard and then paste it into my Word document. One note on that, 
you need to make sure that you're making it double spaced because right now it, this won't copy double spaced. It's like one and a half spaces and then a full space between. So you'll need to change that and make sure you change the font and font size to what the rest of your paper is. So, and you can switch just as quickly. So say you were doing this for one professor and then for your preceptor, they want AMA and you want to use the same articles. That quickly you can change over. Okay. So, very, very useful tool. Let me go back here and make this a little bit smaller again. All right, so here you can share folders. So you could see I'm sharing a folder with someone. You can also see when it has those people by it. That means I'm sharing folders. So this is a really great tool to know about. One thing I did want to mention again is back on the, the APA guide, or the AMA guide. Some of the things that are not traditionally published, like a book or a journal article, RefWorks may not know how to cite. So if you decide to cite an email, this will show you how to cite an email. So just be aware that it's there. Um, but I think I've gone on for really, really long enough. Um, I apologize for going on so long. Wow, I didn't realize I've been talking that long. So anyways, this gives you an idea of RefWorks. I hope this is helpful, and please, please let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. It's what I'm here for. Uh, so have a great semester, have a great rest of your summer, and I hope to hear from you. All right, bye-bye.